Hallelujah. I'm sure you may have heard the saying, bad company corrupts, good company builds. When we open up our Bibles to Psalms chapter 37 verse 4, I'm reading from the message version. It reads, keep company with God, get in on the best. That means the psalmist here is saying, if you begin to have fellowship, if you begin to have a relationship with God, if you begin to delight in God, you will get in on the best. The NKJV version says, delight yourself also in the Lord and he, will, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Delight in God, keep company with God, fellowship with God, and you are going to get in on the best. That means the best is going to come to you. You don't have to run after the best, but it will come to you. In Matthew 6, 33, it clearly says, Seek first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. Keep company with God. Build your walk with God and you will get in on the best. When we read Psalms 31 verse 19, it reads there, Oh, how abundant is your goodness which you have stored up for those who fear you. How abundant is your goodness. That means God has kept good for those who are in him, for those who fear him, those who have a walk with him, those who delight in him. I want to encourage you today. If you want to get in on the best, if you want the best in your life, if you want to see the good things that God has for you, you need to start keeping company with God. You need to start having your personal walk with God. From then on, you will begin to see God unfold all the best plans that he has for you. In Romans 8, he says, all things work together for good. He will work everything for your good. Once again, I want to say, keep company with God and you will get in on the best. God bless you.